call you a asshole. Welcome everybody, and we're back playing some more FNAF. Woo! This is what we're doing. What up? This is what we're doing. Um, you guys really seem to enjoy the last one, so here we are doing it once again. Enough of the talking. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Parts Holy and crap! It looks like okay, one of our guests come on, left man. A personal item on our star attraction. Let's oh. return it to the lost and found. <laughs> Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. How the hell is there a hat in your mouth, bro? Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. Is this it? Yeah. It's... While we're at it, oh, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Oh. Well done. Ugh, Freddy's right. chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any oh, of Freddy's no. sensitive wiring. Oh. Okay. It's gonna go back? Yep, yeah. okay. Oh, crap. Ah! Ah! Good job. It appears there is a child's <laughs> shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. Oh, the hell music no. music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Crap. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Go away. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Alright, here we go. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Alright, this huge button. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. The fuck? Oh, crap. Gotta get the shoe, gotta get the shoe, gotta get the shoe. Come on, please, just go away. Oh, you asshole. Freddy Fazbear, yeah! Freddy Fazbear. I'm losing my mind, yeah! Lost and found Ben. I'm shaking! Oh, please! Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity, and we'll call it a day. Alright, alright. Just gonna return it. Oh, oh no! You seem to have mishandled no! Freddy's music box. Please! This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. Please! A slow and even pace is recommended. There, 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 done, Freddy's done. Cavity, Did I do it? Large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes Boop. your time in parts Boop. and service. Boop. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Please. Yes, I did it. Let's go. What the. F What are you? Oh, what are you? I, I'm shaking. I'm shaking again. Oh, this is horrible. 
All right, so while editing the last video, I found out that in Showtime, there was like a little tape around the railing. So I'm gonna go get that right now. <laughs> conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But Jeremy? as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Oh, crap. Welcome back to... Oh, what is this? Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. This is horrible. Oh, no. Ah! It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. All right, blue and green. I need a blue and green one. Here you go. Blue and green. Oh! Uh. Alright, come on, spaz out again. Good job. Uh. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's oh, for chest sake. and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. He's moving constantly! Alright, that's a blue and red. Blue and red. Um, where's blue and red? Is it here? Here you go. Blue and red. Oh no! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? There you go. All right, now we need a blue and blue with a yellow. Good job. There you go. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. All right, he has like a brownish eye, so I think I'm gonna... This one looks like it. Okay, okay, wait. Well done. There you go. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Let's go! Cove can now be reopened. Woo! Yeah! L chips. Yeah! Woo! I think we should try some good old classic FNAF one. Let's do it! Why not? Oh, crap.
Oh no. All right, where are they? This is bad. What's this? Oh, another tape. I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm All right. Oh, that's cool. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first Okay? Okay, so, alright. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh, and crap. He's gone. For kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to off. Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing He's right there. will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah blah blah. Now that might sound bad, I know. But it sounds horrible. To worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. The fuck? No. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? What the fuck? No, nope, fuck all this. Oh. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you... My God. Here, ...if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm keeping those doors closed. ...inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't built with... ...wired... Oh, what? ...devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head... Ah! ...pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see Oh crap! Please no! No! Please! Please! Ah! I freaked out. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, you know what? Let's just listen to the tape and let's call it a day. All right, how about that? Let's listen to the tape and let's call it a day. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up. Yes, I have. But it's an actual piece of office equipment. Yep. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing one when I was still in school. And even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. Yeah. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That's true. That seems so silly now. Jeremy no, used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Oh. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thankfully, we finished parts and service in this episode, so we don't have to do that anymore. Next episode, I will be doing FNAF 1, all right? <laughs> I couldn't get through it because I've had too much FNAF lately for me. But, um, next episode, I will surely do at least night one and two, for sure. Um, yeah, all right. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far, again, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.